everybody thank you for joining me i'm very surprised if you had because i know i'm very sporadic and it's going to be sporadic but i just thought get myself back into editing and i'll show you what i've been up to so this is just 10 recent ish sales so i've picked out varied because uh, there's been quite a lot of jewelry um but i'm getting through my pals of shame so i'll start with this one uh I used to collect loads and loads of figures because when I did toys I would always want figures to go with it but I would use what I wanted and I've ended up with a great big um, I don't know 60 litre tub full of old cars and figures and stuff anyway I've decided to get through them all now because I don't think I'm going to car boots again and um, this is just one lot there's loads of lots listed uh, and there's a few sold now so this is just uh, random toys, including Batman and stuff. And then these, just one of a few of the uh, sets of earrings. I've really been going for it. I did show you the silver I was working through. So I've been working through all the silver earrings. And I've got three different sets, uh, three different pairs of coral earrings. So these are red coral. Uh, really, really pretty. Quite heavy, these, actually. Um, yeah, so... This is the first of them. I won't show you all the coral ones that went. Oh, these were a nice set. I thought these would have gone more, actually. I think I tried them at about £40 and then just kept dropping the price. Um, Uranium glass, beautiful. And um, they weren't going, but then I changed the picture to this one instead of showing it with the light behind it. And they went. This was in a random lot that I found in the silver, so I've been storing it, just ferreted them all away in a box. And uh, this is an engraved dragon, uh, lucky Chinese dragon uh, ring on this one. Men's, men's large size. Then to have a break from listing silver, I decided to do a few bits of uh, clothing. So this has not been on that long. Uh, and it's a dress that my sister brought for me. Uh, she brought me a bag of nice things, so I thought, oh, well, that sparked me off. So, yeah, I listed this and a few other items from her. Uh, and then I decided, seeing as I was doing clothes, to have a look in my wardrobe. So I found these out, which were some trousers I wore for work. Um, they had just about fit them on one leg now, I think, so I thought, uh, time to go. Uh, and they sold for £10. I thought it was being Ted Baker, they would have gone for more, but... Um, they probably would have done if I'd have waited till winter. Uh, and these were just a pound each from the charity shop and they were more or less brand new. Uh, the beige ones have been tried on, pink ones never. And uh, yeah, I think I took an offer of £10 on those. Now the books were from a charity shop. I just uh, was dropping some stuff into the charity shop and they had all books, uh, 10 for a pound. I might have shown them in a haul um i did have lots of snippets done for you but i've lost them somewhere i think i've left them on my phone too long so yeah now this i think i did show in the last um video with the haul unless that's one of the snippets that disappeared i don't know uh but i got it from an auction it was a job lot and i paid about 25 pound for the job lot of uh, different things brewery honor and stuff like that and uh, somebody made me an offer of £20 on this so I took it because it needs a coat replacing and this one is a uh, silver twist uh, twist type cigar um, borer uh, you pierce your cigars with it I did have full hallmarks on that so I was able to ascertain uh, where it was made and the year and that just came in a job lot of silver bits and bobs from an auction I showed this one in a uh, charity shop haul uh, about a month ago, I think. Uh, it sold almost straight away. I really enjoyed building it. It was nice to get into some, I know it's not real Lego, but Lego-ish stuff. And I thought, well, there's hardly any of these around. So I put it on for 45 um, And it sold fairly quickly. Yeah, I was really pleased with it. Now, if anybody's been watching before, you'll have seen I used to do wedding cakes and uh, sell cake decorations. And I've been uh, a bit the bully and decided I was selling off all my wedding stuff. So 
This was the cupcake stand I used to use uh, when we went to wedding shows. And again, another, I made up quite a few little job lots. Uh, there's only a couple left, I think, now, to be honest. Uh, if you're interested in cakes, you can go and have a look. Um, sold all my tins and everything, so this was just a job lot I put together for the icing noddles. Noddles? Nozzles? <laughs> and piping bags. Now, this one's quite interesting. I've got all my toys, uh, games and stuff down to sort out. This one's been on top shelf for ages. Completely empty apart from the board itself. Uh, so I thought, well... Somebody might want the board and make their own chest set up, so yeah, and that one's off £20, so I'm really happy with that. This fellow, extremely heavy, uh, tried him about 75 to start and then I dropped its price. I think I took £50. Um, it's a pity it doesn't show you on here what it actually sold for, but I think it was £50. But she sent me some lovely feedback, she absolutely loves him. Uh, these were from a charity shop. I paid £8. Uh, they were in a pack that made it look as if it was the original pack, but it wasn't. But I did manage to keep the uh, great big plastic holder that it came in to send them out. Um, really good condition they were. Check your hems and your rufflet and everything when you buy curtains. This was very unusual and difficult to photograph. Um, so, yeah. Not much more I can say about it really, just an artisan um, size T silver ring. So I think all or most of my rings are listed now. Oh, this was a nice sell. I very nearly kept this. It's a beautiful chain, um, 24 grams heavy um, flat curb link. Really nice. Really liked it. But I'm glad I listed it and I sold two straight away to the same person. So that was that last one and this one went to the same lady. Um, yeah. Very nice to get some of this silver gone. And then last but not least, this was it again in the job lot and uh, vintage antique trinket pillbox. Um, tried endlessly looking up that signature, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah. So I know that was short and sweet, but I just thought I'd touch base with you. I hope you're all okay. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment. Um, by the time this goes out, I might have changed the channel name. I'm not sure. Um, I think I might be changing to Auntie Sue's reselling. So just have a bit of a fresh start with it. So let me know how you all are. Love you loads. Take care. Bye.